Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 with something very interesting. We haven't had this in a very, very long time. We have the road going version of the Lincoln Co. 03 plus sedan thing. And we have its touring car equivalent made by Cyan Racing, both in the game. So. I thought I would give the new touring car a proper introduction to Horizon. We haven't had a real racing car like this out of the game in quite a while. I mean, really, since Horizon 4 with the KTM Crossbow would probably be the last proper touring car style of thing. Or maybe the V8 Supercars from Horizon 3. Either way, I want to give the touring car a proper welcome to Horizon. And then... I want to build my own to see how close I can get to the actual world touring car. First, I figure we do an actual proper circuit race. No shenanigans, no fanciness, just four laps and be able to difficulty. We're all in touring cars. This will be this will be interesting. We haven't again we haven't had proper touring car racing since Horizon 3. We had GT racing also in Horizon 3. So, we have not had this in a while, and it's, it's good to get back to it now. Can I go around yet? Nope, not, because I, I got punted. That's a touring car line right there in half. Now, this is unbeatable difficulty, because the AIs have problems with this car. It's completely bone stock, top of A class. And, well, that seems to have nerfed the absolutely lunatic, unbeatable AI that is in this game. So, that's good bit more return to form for Horizon after a very long time of them running off into the distance like a bunch of maniacs. They're three wide heading into the hairpin near enough. They fall into two by two. I'm going to try and carry the speed. They're two by two behind, so I have no threat from behind. Let's see how far I can get up the order. He's a little out of position. We're going to say thank you. He's going to compromise his friend, too. I'm going to sneak up the inside because of his compromise line. That's how you do an opportunistic overtake right then and there. I also need to learn to shift gears. I was not looking at the screen. It's fine. Now, I'm much better through this corner than the AI, so this will be my spot to overtake. I'll, can I go for a dial on the inside? I'm, I am. I guess I am. I'm a little too shallow of a line. But he falls in the line. <laughs> you see... What I mean, if you play normal class racing and, and force the AIs, it just runs off in the distance. But in this, they're a little cowardly, I'm going to be honest. I think it's because of the super high grip levels, relatively low in A-class. I mean, I think they're, they're relatively low A-class. They're top of A-class. But, you know, for a race car with this much grip, it's a very low class rating in Forza's PI system. Because it has no top speed. And this front wheel drive, well, I'm a little wide there. He trying to sneak up the inside. It's not going to have the run on the X, I'll hold that position. Yeah, it's very high, top of, a, top of A class, but for a racing car, it's very low PI. So I think that's throwing everything off a little bit. But I think a second place is definitely doable. First place is being a Forza AI and running off into the distance. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I ducked out of the way. Brake checked me through a flat out corner. I'm gonna try and capitalize on their two wide shenanigans. He's going to make that position stick. I'm going to try and sneak one up the inside of both of them, maybe. He's still on my inside. I'm going to have to go a long way around. He is going to shut that door on me. But I'm going to do a cut back on him. Is he going to try and dive up the inside? I think he's going to try. I'm going to leave him a little bit of space. Oh, it was somebody else. I think somebody else tried to go up the inside. All right. Uh, I think the guy from, what is it, fourth? Just absolutely sent it between us. I'm gonna try and do a sneaky little undercut here, try and get a good run on the exit, drift it down to third. There we go, nice. I'm getting the slipstream. Slipstream is very effective on this game. These cars have a lot of arrow. Alright, so it's just a two horse race now, pretty much. Again, break a little early and then try and carry the speed on the exit. We tend to see them struggle here, but he blocks me! The bugger blocks me! And that pack is starting to close up now. I know I'm have the run here. You see, they just threw a little cow in the brakes, but he was faster! Damn it! I was expecting him to hit the brakes. He didn't do that. That's not very nice. This is the final lap now. Oh, crap. Come on. 
Um, I'm mucking up a little bit. Come on. We're gaining. We're gaining. I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna have to try up the inside here. Um, too far back. Uh, I'm all out of position now. I think I'm going to be stuck in third. I think I made a goof on that corner. I could have done something if I didn't muck up my turning, but I tried to be clever. Okay, um, this is our last, we have one last chance, and that's pretty much up the inside on the final corner. Uh-huh, I think I buggered this one up. Come on, we're gaining, we're gaining, we got the run, come on! I'm gonna have to send it, I'm gonna have to send it up the inside. Uh, yes, <laughs> on the final corner! Thank you very much! We take the second place. Well, silver medal. I'll take it. The leader ran off in the distance. We never saw him once. But that was a good battle for second. And we did... We did get fastest lap. It was very close between me and the leader. But in the end, yeah, four seconds faster. I wasn't... I was, I, I was kind of catching him, kind of not. But I was in battles the whole time. Oh, I did not get fastest lap. Someone in the back got a 107. Still, second fastest, not bad. Okay, our second race is going to be a very technical street circuit, because I like chaos. And we had some pretty good battles in the first race. So now let's see how they handle a post-rain street circuit. Oh, I immediately crashed and nearly rolled the car. This might have been a bad call. I had a bit of a, um, a, a problem on my own, like an idiot. But, you know, I'm just keeping it fair because I went through the field so quickly last time. You know? That's what I'm doing. Oh, there's a big traffic jam. Okay. I'm going to try and sneak up the inside of 11 here. I, ah, I hit the street furniture. It's okay. We'll sneak up the inside here. Well, ah! Uh, that's a tour. That is literally a, what, 1993 British touring car pass? With the uh, um, Lotus, or not the Lotus, the Opal on two wheels against the BMW, and then they crashed her off, and the other guy won the, won the championship. That was a proper touring car pass if I've ever seen one. Somehow we kept it all together. I sort of leaned on his window a little bit, leaned on his roof. Oh, I don't remember this track at all. I'm just doing terribly right now. Oh, I apologize for the atrocious driving, but I, I can't get over the the two-wheeled lean. That was life. That was art imitating life right there. Bloody street furniture. Now I'm going to get overtaken for 10th again. Ah. Bad. Bad. Very bad. Oh, right. come on. Get it stopped. I know it's a street circuit, but you can't be locking the brakes up like that, car. I was even like straight line the corner and everything, and it just decided to just not work. I don't remember the circuit at all. I probably should have done practice, but bugger. You know, we're gonna go for a top five. Top five should be doable. The field is way up there. All of them, actually, pretty much. If I just figure out how to drive, I'll be right there with them. But. I don't like this car on this track. I think the bumps are getting the better of it. It's not very good under braking zones. It wants to lock the front wheels under brakes. Turning is fine. No real issues there. As I'm about to demonstrate. Better. Better according to this time. That, that curb just does not like this car. It loves to bounce it into the air. Uh, now we're on a charge. Now we're on a charge. Can we go up the inside of this guy? And we're gonna fall into line. Uh, maybe I'll force him wide. It's fine. Uh, oh, okay. Come on, move, move, sunshine. Got an angry path. I'm trying to. We're in the top six. Oh, okay. See a nice little smooth tuck back there. I didn't want to hit the the inside barrier. There we go. Up the inside again. Thank you. Again, I think the AI have a slight issue with these cars. Oh, locking up. Whoa. What is that car? 
What is that? That's not cool. They have a better run, but not, they're not going to be able to use it before I hit this corner. Ah, okay, it doesn't... I, I hit the corner, that's for sure. I don't like this track, I've decided. I decide I don't like this track. It's produced some interesting racing, but I'd argue the first race is probably a little more interesting. This just crashes. This is just... Turn, you bastard. Ah. I don't like this. This is not a good car and track combination. It locks up way too easily under brakes. I probably shouldn't have put it in the wet, because, yeah, it gets very unhappy very quickly. Now, we're not going to try rolling off the curve here, okay? There we go. We actually carry some speed from there. We don't try. We don't go on two wheels or anything. Can't do anything right now. I can... That was kind of a bump. Kind of a bump out of alignment, but he's going to actually have the run on me. Arrgh. However, he's going to run on him, too. Can I capitalize? Maybe? Yes, I can. I'm going to follow him through. A little bit of bump draft, a little bit of shake and bake. And crashing. So he got through. It's my turn to go through on the inside, though. May I sneak up the inside of him as well? I can. It's fine. It's fine. I like this track. I like street furniture. I like doing this. It's so much fun. Ah. Uh, now we're trying not. Nope. Stop blocking up. Uh, this is more of a battle at the track furniture than the actual wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles. That's unfortunate. There we go. He actually made it through that corner. I should have shifted it in the third, but I was focused on getting to the corner without dying. Ah. I'm running into the train behind us, but I just have no pace on this track. Can you stop? Oi! What the heck was that? The evil sod. Stop bumping me. I'm not even breaking that early. I'm just making it through the corners. Well, that certainly cost me a chance in the top five. Just casually punting me wide. Come on. I at least salvaged sixth out of this. This has been a messy race. It's been entertaining, I would argue. But, um, messy is another word I would describe it. It's just, I'm not very good at the track. The car is not very comfortable on the bumps because it keeps locking up. It's a bit of a mess. Oh, hell with it. You know what? Let's make it three for three. All right, let's just do that. That's fine. That's just fine. Ah. Uh, I wish that stuff didn't respawn at all. Okay, well we didn't really have the pace, got crashed into a lot, crashed into people a lot. And all in all, just a very busy race. But the two should make a good thumbnail. And our final race is really mean in the snow. Yeah, I sort of hate myself because racing slips on the dirt in the snow now i have had to turn the ais down because as you can kind of see they just don't care about this snow it's not there for them okay they don't think of it very much so you had to tone them down a little bit since it's they, they just turn like they just turn into senna when it rains it just doesn't matter I'm gonna go up the inside of this guy, a little bit of a bump is fine. Up the inside of this guy, I'm, actually, I'm not gonna try holding it on the outside, that would be stupid. Oh, oh, okay. I'm in third, I think. I can get better exit there. Oh. They had an accident, nothing to do with me. Can I pass the one car that actually decided to be creative? Maybe, oh, there's no rerun grip. I'm going to say thank you, though. Sneak up the inside anyway. We're three wide in the s Oh, he just murdered that guy into the wall. Okay. There's definitely a tale of two packs. There's the front-running pack, and then there's the behind pack. We're going to try and join that front group. Uh, there's just 
no traction up the hill, not really. I am actually able to go flat out as we're not going particularly fast. Braking distances are also affected. Although, to be honest, these cars are handling this better than I thought. It's not completely undrivable. The back end is just a little weird because the front has a decent amount of grip, probably because it's front wheel drive with all the weight over and everything. The rear, though, is just nothing. It's it, it's weird. It feels slidey, but it doesn't really slide around that much, all the things considered, again, probably because it's front wheel drive. If this was a rear wheel drive touring car, like a V8 supercar, oh, this would be a nightmare to drive, I would imagine. But since it's front wheel drive, I think we can just about manage it. Oh, not stopping, not stopping, not stopping. That's okay, we'll get an exit here, up the hill. That's, I meant to do that. Yep. I meant to do that. Now we're trying to break on the snow. I think that'll give us a better break than the staying on the on the mud. I think the mud's a little frozen over. So if we can uh, try to stay there, that's not going too well in those. I'm trying to push to catch up with fifth place. Because I'm just out of reach right now. And it's not really going particularly great. Uh, we are, I think, making up a little bit of time. The question is, do we have one more lap? So I'm not really sure if we'll be able to do much, to be honest. Come on. Yeah, this is handling a surprise and I thought it would be a lot worse. But no, it's just chugging along. I'm gonna try and break on the snow again. Have a little bit of air time, but that's better. That's better. Now get on the exit there. Nicely done, Cyan. Okay. We're going to try to go for fastest lap, I guess, because I don't think we're going to be catching them. But, you know, we're in relative clean air, so that's nice. There we go. We are actually closing really close fast up to these guys. It's going to ruin my fastest lap endeavors. But that was some good focus there. We might be able to sneak a fifth on the line if we play it right. Come on, baby, come on. We did it on the final corner. We got a fifth. There we go. Nicely done. Cyan Racing. Nicely done. That was a lot better than I expected. I thought it was going to be awful. But actually, not too bad. Not too bad. Now we only got one more thing to do. My first order of business was putting the body kit on the car. I had to have the touring car body kit. I think it's technically the road legal touring car body kit. It's a little finicky with how Cyan works with that. They have the road car, the touring car road car, and then the touring car. So there's like three different phases. I think it might be the road legal touring car. Either way, it still has the wing. It still has the fully functional aero front and rear with the body kit, so it counts. Problem was all-wheel drive. And the touring car is front-wheel drive. So I had to get the differential and actually had to tune it 100% to the front. It's not perfect, but it's like 99.5% of the way there. So I guess I'll take it in that respect. And then it was just putting all the racing parts on the slick tires, the two, two, the two five fives on the front, two five fives on the rear, uh, maximum weight reduction. Our goal is to get 2,900 pounds and 340 horsepower. We couldn't quite do that. We were at 2,975 pounds and... In order to compensate for the extra weight, I gave it 350 horsepower and it has more torque, so it balances out in that respect. The PI is totally broken because the game still says it's all-wheel drive, even though I've tuned it to be essentially front-wheel drive. So this is in mid-S1 class, low-S1 class, while the touring car is at the top of A class. So, that is the build, and then I just had to put it on the track. I chose a decent handling track since this is a touring car not like a gt car we didn't have a lot of straights because well it's pretty slow that'd be quite boring so instead i made like another big another mixed track with some fast corners some slow corners and a little bit of uh straight away is esh things where you can really get the power down so the thing i noticed first of all is that the car that i built is a lot better on the traction the acceleration but it is a little slower through the corners it can't quite carry the same corner speed it's not bad but it cannot quite carry the same corner speed it's about 90 percent of what the actual touring car can do which is pretty good i'm pretty pleased with that considering it weighs a little bit more and it doesn't have the full racing you know chassis design 
that the actual car has, so I was pretty pleased with that. The one thing that it does have is acceleration on the corner. Maybe it's because of the slight all-wheel drive ice. Again, there's always that half a percent that you can't quite get rid of. And it has a little more power, although I did try to keep the power-weight ratios as similar as possible to try and balance that out. But I think this does accelerate a little bit faster. That tends to be this thing that happens when you build a car in Forza, that it tends to be faster accelerating than a race car, even if it's built to the same specs. It's just the weird quirks of the Forza build system. The thing about the touring car, though, is that, apart from having better corner speed, is it doesn't feel like it has better corner speed, because it's kind of terrifying on this track. I didn't really see it too much um, in the racing, but on this track, with the elevation change and the high-speed corners and the ability to go flat out with no traffic, it likes to cock a rear wheel up a little bit. And it doesn't really affect the handling too much. It's not terrible. You can definitely manage it. There's no real lap time lost, per se. It's just a little weird and a little scary the first time to see the rear wheels cocking up a little bit like it's a hot hatch, even though it's a world touring car. But still, it handled a little bit better, was a little slower accelerating, so I was curious to see what the lap times would be, and well, it was pretty good actually for what I would, what I was expecting. My car did a 106.2, and the base touring car did a 107.0, so my car was about eight tenths of a second quicker, which for a Forza build against a touring car, or a race car of any kind really, is pretty good. Forza builds tend to be biased towards the build rather than the bot. So the fact that the build was within eight tenths of a second, I'm pretty pleased with that. I can't really criticize all of that much. I was very happy with how that turned out. Ideally, you would want them to be identical, but again, with the whole favoritism towards built cars, I consider it an absolute win. So, that is the Linksing Co. Cyan Racing Touring Car. I love seeing actual race cars in this game. I wish we got more. I really wish we got the GT cars from Horizon 3 and the V8 Supercars from Horizon 3 back in the game. Those were brilliant, fun drive. And I, this just reinforces that we should have all of the race cars in Horizon. But anyway, that'll be it for this episode of Forza Horizon 5. I'll be back with more.